Hey everyone, welcome to Shelby's Comics. Uh, we still got Peter Tingle going on. It is still Monday. The postman dropped off a couple more packages. Uh, the first one is from Sanctum Sanctorium Comics and Oddities. Uh, they are out of Plymouth, Michigan. And the other is Comic Tom. So we'll see if we're happy or sad. I also got uh, some labels back from Sticker Mule. Let's look at those first real quick. I think they had a Thanksgiving Day sale, if I remember right. They had certain products on, on sale. And I think I ordered, it was like crazy cheap. It was like, so I'll show the little thing. So got a mule sticker. Uh, if they do mule sauce, you can order mule uh, hot sauce from them. But uh, yeah, sticker mule. Um, that's where I get a lot of my stickers from my labels and stuff and so they had a sale and so I bought they were super cheap like nine dollars or something for a roll of 50 um, so I did some showy comic stickers uh, something I can stick on the outside of boxes or um, maybe even envelopes so you can see the Shelby comics package just arrived at your house and you can get all excited and stuff. So they look like pretty much the same as, oh, that was scary. You ought to see me that close. As my Shelby Comics stickers that I throw in boxes for you guys and gals. Um, so I'm gonna say this up front. Uh, we're gonna open up Sanctum Sanctorium first. Uh, I'll say this up front in case y'all get bored and don't watch all the way to the end. Hey, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you all for viewing. Okay, Sanctum Sanctorium. I'm sure it was something on sale. Nice little inner packaging. Keep things from getting wet. Uh, you know, I don't do that. Maybe I should. I never heard anybody complain about anything getting wet, but I have gotten things from other people that was wet but uh you know we use bags and boards so I usually think eh, it's gonna be okay but let me know below let me know below it says like tell me in the comments this is not a toy don't stick your head in here and play with that uh let me know below if uh i should use that okay the first is I remember seeing this, getting it on sale, thought it was really cool. Spider Woman number one, kind of a cool little, um, I don't know, call it toy cover or something. It's 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 got a kitty cat. That's one of the reasons why I got it. It's a kitty cat. So, hold on a second. All right, sorry about that. I had a phone call that just came in, so we had a short intermission. Um, y'all probably didn't even notice. Uh, it was the theater. I usually try to donate a little something at Christmas to the theater. Uh, you know, I've been unemployed since May, so wasn't able to make a donation. I do love the theater. I love, um, going to the theater. That's one of my joys, but yeah. Oh, it'll be nice to get things back to normal. Hopefully with the vaccines and everything, uh, stuff can start getting back to normal here in some amount of months. But anyway, uh, all three of these books that I have from uh, Sanctum Sanctorium are a theme. So like I showed you, the really cool Spider-Woman kind of comic, uh, cartoonish, I should probably say. Also, then they ship these in some hard top loaders a venom 29 again kind of the cartoonish uh cover so i'm assuming that is venom son playing with and kitty cat 
uh, playing with uh, his toys, and he's playing with Venom and Carnage. So that's pretty cool. And then the third one is again no little cartoonish for champions number one i believe champions outlawed and uh there's the kitty cat so yeah pick those up um maybe see if they're still in stock sanctum sanctorium i didn't purchase anything extra to show uh, bleh, to sell or anything it's just something for my pc that i thought were cool and were cheap and yeah, so really glad about that. All right, let's see what Comic Tom sent us. See if we're gonna be happy or sad. Uh, yeah, I'll have to admit the things that keep me going with Comic Tom is is FOMO. Um, you know, he got the deal with Marvel to be able to. Uh, do some Marvel books this past year. I'm a Marvel collector, so you know that appealed to me. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, this is $40. $40. I think my $30 boxes are better, honestly. Um, no offense, Comic Tom. I, if you've watched this, I do like his content. I like looking at his top 10. Uh, I enjoy some, some of his episodes and such. And, um, yeah, so there's nothing personal or anything. It's, you know, just I felt the value hasn't necessarily been there uh, the past several months. Maybe something I'm going to think about dropping, same as that Spider-Man, uh, that Spider-Man booth box. So, uh, but hey, down below in the description, you can buy some Shelby Comics mystery boxes. Uh, I have $30 boxes left, $50 boxes, and I think I looked this morning, I think I only have two $80 boxes left. So... You know, hit me up on eBay. You can also DM me on IG and you can purchase that. And I've been doing donations to Toys for Tots uh, for every sale. So that's something between now and Christmas um, you can do. And I'll donate a little bit of money. All right, let's see what the first book is. I mean, it looks maybe, it feels like they're all in, I'm not sure it's Mylar or not. Maybe for Christmas, he's stepped it up a little bit as a Christmas present. So that's cool. Kind of a, oh, that's the, that's a little, the little print he always gives. So kind of a negative space. Uh, Power Rangers print. Number 1205 of 2700. Next is Peach Momoko. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 110. I'm not sure if that's the hit or not. I remember when this came out, Alien Legion, number one, uh, from Epic Comics, which is an imprint of Marvel. Uh, Carl Potts, uh, Alan Z Zinitz, uh Frank S Surico and Terry Austin. No Terry Austin. I uh, know Carl Potts. Um, you know, it, it was good at the time. It was a little bit hot uh, back then in the day. Uh, people were really liking these. You know, this is after the black and white uh, independence boom of the 80s. And that's when Marvel and DC started their imprints to be able to put out more edgy type of comics uh, to compete against some of the black and white independent stuff. Okay, I actually just moved this out of the way. I got a big dent here on the side. Uh, this is a cardboard cover, so that will not press out. But um, yeah, I actually just bought a bunch of these about a month ago. <laughs> he might have bought some of the same case that I did. 
a person had a case of them, and I think I bought 10 or something really cheap, uh, and I've been selling for like $2. All right, Dr. Doom, number six, huge dented corner. Oh, nothing special. It's not a variant or anything, and I'm a Fantastic Four fan, so I already collected this. And I'm sure since it's a modern current book, you know, it's not, I think number nine was the last issue that just came out. I'm sure it's because of that big dented corner. They're like, ah, throw it in a mystery box. All right. And then the last, all right. So here's a little card, Baby Yoda. That's cute. And then we'll see what this, um, what this is. So... All right, so the last one is his exclusive King in Black number one. Uh, I do remember this now, him uh, showing what was going to be on or in the uh, mystery box. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I like it. You know, is it worth $30? I'm not sure. So we could have gotten, um, so there's 1,800 of the trade dresses of the turtles. So I did get that. There was 1,300 virgins. Virgins, We didn't get that. The King in Black was a 3,000 count. And then there was an Ashcan exclusive from Scout Comics called Rabid World. Only 50 of those. And uh, obviously we did not get that. So you can always do the deal. Uh, post the unboxing video. Or a picture of your mail call on Instagram must be public include the tags blah 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 must be posted by February 1st 2001 the winner will be announced via Instagram and uh, yeah so there's that information but little baby Yoda is pretty cool and I'm still a uh, nerd gasming over the Mandalorian episode the other night uh it's freaking great so and jack just jumped in my lap so he's been a crazy kitty the past hour or so running all around let me close up the razor before he cuts a whisker off or something hey but anyway that is it remember like comment subscribe um you know as long as i keep getting packages between now and christmas i guess i'll keep dropping videos every day uh, again, if I don't see you, happy holidays. Uh, let me know down below uh, what you think of the Comic Tom Mystery Box. You know, again, I, I don't think the value is there unless you want to call this $30. You know, don't need it. Got it. It's got a dented corner. Not worth anything. Uh, huge dent on the side. Not worth anything. Not worth anything. And then uh, the turtles, uh, I guess time will tell if this. I think people are peached out. So, anyway. Hey, again, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for viewing. Have a happy holiday. And don't forget, peace. There's a kitty. You can see kitty tail. That's not me. Peace, love, and comics. Thank you all.